In this episode of the Globe Sports Corner, the Goshen College men's and women's cross-country teams race past the competition with an all-new mindset. And as COVID-19 remains a threat to the athletic community, we'll take a look at how the Goshen College Athletic Department is getting by. All that and more is coming up right here on the Globe Sports Corner. Studios in Goshen. My name is Dante Stan. This is our first Globe Sports Corner of the Year. We are excited to bring you Goshen College Athletics in our new studio. After a year-long hiatus, we are back and hope you will join us every other week for stories and interviews covering our Maple Leaf Athletics. The men's and women's cross-country teams have gotten off to a hot start this season and coming into this new athletic year with not only fresh legs but a new mindset as well. Jeremiah Sherrill has a story. With the new season underway for Goshen College Cross Country, both the men's and women's teams are ready to give it their all. It feels great. It's nice to be back on campus. It's good to have our athletes um, back and have the first years here. Um, there's always a lot of optimism when you start out a year. Uh, the men specifically started out the year ranked um, 20th, and we feel solid about that. We've been 22nd and 20th at Nationals the last two years. Um, and the women, we returned some success on the track and bring in some first years that we feel really strongly about are going to help our our progress and help us be better oh so far it's been great every year it's always fascinating with the new people coming in it adds new type of energy then with the same people that you already know from the previous years still you still already have like the inside jokes and you can just bring the new people into all that too. Despite their preseason ranking, Coach Rustin Nice has the team focused on doing the small things right and to have them work just as hard. A ranking, especially a preseason ranking, doesn't mean a whole lot. So we need to go out and earn it each time we compete. So we're training and racing and, and thinking like we're number eight instead of number seven. So we, we want that edge. While we are bringing back the camaraderie and still able to joke around, we also have within our own team set a standard of like we already know what we are here to accomplish so while we can joke around during practice we still know what we are working for and able to work for that together. I mean it feels good to be to have other schools and other Raiders aware of who we are but really we just need to go in and compete each weekend and show that we're deserving of a preseason rating and continue that during the in-season portion. In addition to how they run as a team, they also strive to build a good reputation for themselves and the student body. The culture we're building up right now isn't, doesn't just affect how our season is now, but it'll also affect the years to come. So over the past few years while I've been around, I've been working with my teammates and just building a culture that we are sustaining now that will hopefully be sustained next year, year after that, year after that, and just as long as it can go. It's, it's important to have a good reputation uh, because that means we're doing the right things. And of course we want to represent the institution in a positive way and that starts with how we represent ourselves within the institution. And it is important to me that we have a good reputation because that means we're doing the right things on a daily basis. And we're doing a lot of those micro things well that lead to the macro things um, being successful. Reporting for Globe Sports, I'm Jeremiah Sherrill. It's great to see the Maple Leafs off and running to an excellent start. Coming up next, we'll speak with Goshen College Athletic Director Erica Albertine and discuss goals that the athletic department intends to reach in the coming year and what that means for GC athletes. I work for the best college radio station in the nation. It's not New York City or Chicago, it's Goshen College. Our broadcasting program is just one of Goshen's 35 outstanding majors. At Goshen College, you will work one-on-one -on -one with top professionals and get studio time in your first semester. You can call a game from the playing field or broadcast from a downtown radio studio. How do I know Goshen was the best choice? Right after graduation, I'll start my new job as a radio morning show co-host. Take the next step in your broadcasting career. Welcome back to the Globe Sports Corner. I'm Dante Stan. I'm joined now by Goshen College Athletic Director Erica Alatine, who is in her first full year as a full-time athletic director here at Goshen College. Erica, it's great to have you in the studio today. How are you? Thanks for having me, Dante. I'm good. Great. Uh, so how have the first two years gone as a full-time athletic director for you? Yeah, I mean, there's been a lot going on with the pandemic, obviously, but I love being at Goshen and just love seeing the progress that we're making and then also getting to interact with our student athletes. And so I think that, you know, the first time here as the athletic director is going pretty well so far and looking forward to what else we're about to do. Uh, so here in your first year, talk a little bit more about what else you're going to do, the substantial goals that you're looking to reach here in your first year. Yeah, I think, well, the biggest one that we've talked about a little bit is just getting the mascot together. So we form the committee and then making the next steps forward in figuring out what that mascot will be. So looking forward to involvement from a lot of the other students and the staff and faculty of Goshen. So that's one of the big goals. The other one, just have some more success 
in the classrooms, in the competitions, and in the community. So involving all of our teams um, to be great student athletes, and then promoting you know good ac athletic skills uh, on the fields and in the competitions. So yeah. What changes are you looking to make within Goshen College athletics, if any? Yeah, I think there might be a couple of changes. So as starting out as the athletic director. The biggest one was just the structure, and so I used to be the head athletic trainer and then stepping into this role, just trying to figure out who exactly will be on the leadership team, which we've created, and now we're looking to just up the professionalism of the department and the staff, so bringing in some key speakers, um, some local community leaders, and then also some national people as well. So I think that will be a big change that we're working on. The second one is real response, and so that's a system that we've started so if there's any problems that the student athletes are having, um, whether that's Title IX or bias um, or just COVID related things, they'll get a text message on the first of every month and then they can reply back, it's an anonymous system. And then something that I'm hoping like I'll be able to hear the problems of the department. You can also give positive feedback too. So we've heard some positive feedback already on our coaches. Uh, and with that, just knowing the problems and knowing how to refer out and use the resources at Goshen that we have. That's fantastic to hear. Uh, so what is the Goshen College Sports Department looking to do to increase fan involvement and fan participation as things go on? You mentioned mascot. Mm -hmm. Are fans gonna be able to have a say in that as well? And what else are you doing as far as fan participation goes? Yeah, so this year, you know, a lot more exciting, I think for me anyways, than last year where we had the limited fans and there were a lot more restrictions like pass lists and who could go to the games and all of that. This year, it's a lot more whoever wants to be at the game uh, can come in. And I think hopefully working a lot more with SAC, um, so the Student Athlete Advisory Committee, <clears throat> and just having some more events. So they've done uh, things like tie-dye event, um, red, red, white, and blue night, a couple of different other themes. And so just trying to get the theme ideas out into the Goshen College mind a little bit more is one of the goals that we're working on. And finally, so uh, the college as a whole with dealing with COVID in the athletic department, uh, what changes have been made this year? This year, I think one of the biggest changes is that we no longer are doing uh, quite the same screening processes as before. So it used to be with every team and every student, every participant would need to be screened and go through temp checks and symptom screens as well. This year with the vaccine and the vaccine rates that we have on campus and just in the NAIA in general, they've gone away from that. Um, and then also, you know, the testing, like we're not testing as much because we do have the ability to have the vaccines and be a little bit more protected and safe in that way. Thank you so much, Erica. It was great to have you on the show. Yeah, thanks for having me, Dante. Thank you very much. <laughs> Uh, just this past week, Globe Sports correspondent Liam Morris sat down with Erica Albertine to discuss the ins and outs of Goshen College Athletics and their handling of the COVID-19 pandemic for the 2021 season. That's up next on the Globe Sports Corner. Goshen College students enjoy an amazing success record, and we have some impressive numbers to prove it. But stories of our graduates say even more, like developing a breakthrough antiviral drug for HIV AIDS, writing number one hits, being named one of Time Magazine's most influential people in the world for cancer research, and enjoying a broadcast career right out of college. They all started with a real world education on a campus that makes everyone feel at home. See how the numbers add up and schedule your campus visit today at goshen.edu slash visit. Here on the Globe Sports Corner, my name is Dante Stanton. We'll now turn to our reporter, Liam Morris, who sat down with Erica Albertine, the athletic director here at Goshen College, earlier on this week to discuss the ins and outs of COVID-19 pandemic and GC athletes. With the rollout of the COVID-19 vaccine, fans return to the Maple Leaf stands. However, the pandemic continues to affect sporting events and their participants. Dr. Erica Albertine, director of the athletics department, shares her insight. COVID's affecting athletics in a bunch of different areas, whether that's through how we're scheduling or working with the other schools, how we're allowing fans to our events, and then also, of course, to all of our student athletes. So uh, just kind of break it down a little bit. We are allowing fans this year a lot more than we did last year, especially inside. So not doing just the pass list, but it's open, taking tickets again. Um, and outside is pretty much 
anyone can go to those games again and not many COVID restrictions outside. The increase in mental health resources on campus is another plus for the athletic department just doing a lot of follow-ups, you know, like, how's your team feeling? Like, how's the, the burnout? Or how are people feeling excited? Uh, so just a lot of connections with the coaches to make sure the coaches are connecting with their athletes. Um, and then also, if we do need to refer, like making sure that we know kind of the processes of Goshen College. So the increased uh, health and wellness services that we have, like, I think that's just awesome for our student athletes. And then making sure that the coaches know, you know, we have these counseling services. Uh, we have Liz here as the health and wellness director. And so being able to have those resources and extra support in student life has been really helpful in the student athlete world as well. Navigating the pandemic's unknowns has not been easy. The biggest challenge uh, from COVID is that a lot of times in the athletic world, we like to have like clear cut answers, you know, so we're making game plans and having all these scouting reports and strategies. And then when you have COVID in the midst, uh, this pandemic in the midst of all of this, you have to be really ready to make changes or make adjustments as we go. But Dr. Albertine is optimistic. Our staff that we have, um, they've connected well with each other, but then also with mentors as well. And so the pandemic, you know, the, there have been these Zooms or webinars or just meetings like virtually uh, with others in the athletic world. And that kind of has been one of the benefits that has um, come out of the pandemic. Fans back in the stands? A more connected athletics world? More victories for the Maple Leafs. Reporting for Globe Sports, I'm Liam Morris. Despite rising and falling numbers, it's tough to see that the COVID-19 situation is still looming over athletics, but it's great to see the athletic department here at Goshen doing all that they can to ensure the mental health and safety of our athletes. Coming up next on the Globe Sports Corner, we'll give you an inside look at what sports events you can look forward to this coming week on the Globe Sports Corner. Goshen students enjoy an amazing record of success. What's the secret? It starts with hands-on learning experiences. Whether it's a service project in Peru, a sustainability semester at our environmental learning center, or broadcasting for our award-winning radio station, it adds up to life-changing perspectives and real-world skill development that makes a difference to future employers. And it's all available at a campus that makes everyone feel at home. Come hang out with us and see for yourself. Schedule your campus visit today at goshen.edu visit. Globe Sports Corner. I'm Dante Stan. It's now time to take a look at the Maple Leaf schedule for the coming week. The Leafs have a full slate of events this Saturday with several fall sports spent for action. Athletic events kick off this Friday with women's volleyball action. The Leafs take on Northwestern Ohio University at 2 o'clock and Trinity Christian College at 4 as the 3 and 20 Maple Leafs look to take advantage of their non-conference schedule. Also this Friday men's and women's cross country travel across town for the Bethel University Invitational. That race will be at 5 o'clock in South Bend. Women's volleyball is back in doubleheader action once again this Saturday with an away matchup against Judson and Indiana Tech University at 10 a.m. and 12 noon, respectfully. Women's soccer takes the pitch at 7 o'clock Saturday evening in a Crossroads League matchup with the Bethel Pilots. And finally, men's soccer tops the busy Saturday off with their fourth conference game of the year, also against the Bethel Pilots in South Bend at 7 o'clock. That's all for us here on the Globe Sports Corner. Check out our social media pages at 911 The Globe on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. You can also check out the new content posted weekly on our website at globeradio.org. This has been your Globe Sports Corner. Until next time, I'm Dante Stanton.